It's time for a wellness revolution. Brought to you by Hotsi Health and Wellness Center. Honest discussion on maintaining health and wellness naturally to enjoy a better quality of life. He's the doctor fighting to let you keep your doctor. Now, Dr. Stephen Hotsi. Dr. Hotsi's Wellness Revolution podcast is brought to you by Physicians Preference Pharmacy, formerly Hotsi Pharmacy. Welcome to Dr. Hotsi's Wellness Revolution. Dr. Hotsi is the founder of the Hotsi Health and Wellness Center, and today he is talking with his personal chiropractor, Dr. Bill Shepard, about many, many things, including back pain, and a lot of people suffer from that. I know you'll be very interested to hear more about the various treatments that are available to treat that condition, among many others. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to download our podcasts at HotzePodcast.com. That's H-O-T-Z-E podcast.com. Here's Dr. Hotsi. Thank you, Stacy, and thank each one of you for joining us today on Dr. Hotsi's Wellness Revolution. I do believe that you and everybody needs a coach, a doctor and a staff of professionals who can coach you on a path of health and wellness naturally. So as you mature, you got energy, you got vitality, and you're enthusiastic about life. Today, I've got my doctor, Dr. Bill Shepard, here to share with you the experience I've had with him. And Dr. Shepard's a guest of mine, so we've been mutual uh, guests of one another, patients right. of one another. Dr. Shepard's a chiropractor. He owns the United Chiropractic and Medical Center, which is located on Mason Road at Kingsland. And I've used Dr. Shepard for, I don't know, 15 years at least. I'll explain that. First, let me just mention that Dr. Shepard came here to see me first in 2001. And after he became a guest of mine, when I had a problem, I said, I got to go see Dr. Shepard. And I went over and I will talk about what happened. So, Bill, tell us, how did you end up coming in here the first time to the Hotel Health and Wellness Center? What was going on and what made you decide to come in? Well, you know, I just turned 55 years old. And uh, probably now you just have. I just did. Yes. And then, uh, you know, maybe 20 or so years ago. You were just 35 years old. 35 years old. Gee, he was a young man. Young man. But I didn't feel like a young man. You know, I didn't have energy, my vitality, my libido, you know, how I yep. feel about myself. Everything was down. I started gaining a little weight. Yeah. And uh, sex drive wasn't what it used to be. Yeah. And so I heard about you, who hasn't, but I decided to come in and change my life. Well, I know we got you up on some testosterone, a thyroid, good vitamin and mineral program, eating program. And you were in practice since then. And now you your practice has grown tremendously, and you've bu built a new office across the street. You were on Mason. Now you built a new office. We had to get a bigger place. It's just awesome. So Dr. Shepard came in, and I helped him get on a path of health and wellness naturally, which we do. That's what we want to do for everybody. So a lot of people think, well, you just handle men, women, but we take care of a lot of men here who go through similar problems as they mature. Everybody's energy level tends to go down, and you don't function as well as you did as you get older. So, And a lot of people turn to pharmaceutical drugs and conventional doctors, and all you do is get sicker quicker there. So we want to get people healthy and well naturally. And that's what a chiropractor does. They're, they don't prescribe medications, all this pharmaceutical medications. They take care of your mechanical problems. Remember, some problems we have are chemical. Some problems are mechanical. So a chiropractor... Explain to us the philosophy in chiropractic and chiropractic manipulation. And let me just say, I'm going to tell you stories about when I went to see Dr. Shepard. Several times I've seen him over the last 15 or so years, 20 years, and it's made a huge difference in my life. So tell us exactly what you all do and how you approach patients, particularly when they have these uh, mechanical problems. It's real simple what we do, and a lot of people are misinformed about our education. When we graduate, we have more hours, more academic hours than medical doctors do. There's certain areas we're very, very strong, and then there's areas where we're not so strong, like right. pharmaceutical type stuff we don't do. Right. So I'm not real familiar with it. Sure. Don't really want to be. I know right. a little bit, but um, we're concerned with the mechanical function of the body. More money is spent on back pain than anything in health, more than cancer, more than heart disease. And so we see an enormous amount of back pain in the clinic, and we see a lot of neck pain as well, and shoulders and knees. So we work on the mechanical function that people have. Well, the most commonly prescribed drugs are the opioids, and right. that's not going to fix your neck or back. Right. It's going to mask it. Right. And last time I checked, people don't have a deficiency <laughs> in opioids. Right. Well, this is important to know that when you take a pharmaceutical drug for pain or muscle relaxation, 
It is a drug that masks your symptoms. It doesn't address the underlying cause of your pain or your muscle, uh, your, your, your muscle pain or back pain. It simply masks it. And that's where a chiropractor comes in. Now, let me tell you what happened to me 15, 18 years ago. I pull up here to the Hotel Health and Wellness Center, get out of my car like I normally do, stick my left leg out, and then my right leg and turn my back, and all of a sudden, it's just terrible pain occurred in my lower lumbar spine. And I tried to stand up, but I couldn't, so I just hobbled into the office, got upstairs, and I said to Stacy, Stacy, I've, I've got to call Dr. Shepard. i got to go by and see and get a chiropractic adjustment. I don't know if that time I'd ever had a chiropractic adjustment, but my wife had and been helped tremendously by it in the past. So we called up, got in the car, drove over there. Doctor took me into his office on the table and manipulated my back, and it went pop. And I went, I stood up, and I went, the pain went away. That's incredible. Went back to the office. I felt great. Didn't have any problems. Didn't get any more manipulation. It just was wonderful. About three or four years later, I did the same thing. I threw my back out again, just getting out of the car. I mean, I lift stuff. I lifted weights. I did all kinds of stuff. But just simply getting out of a car, I must have twisted my vertebrae in some way, and it just got out of line. I went back, got adjusted, and I got up off the table. It still hurt. And Dr. Shepard said, why don't you walk out the back door instead of through the <laughs> waiting room? <laughs> but I went through the waiting room. So I went back, and I still had back pain. Came back the next day. He adjusted it again. Pain was gone. Unbelievable. So, And I've had several times where I've had a little discomfort in my thoracic or upper back and the, the neck, just something. Maybe a, you, you ever get a crick in your neck? I got a crick one time. I went by, and he adjusted it. It was gone. So... If you go to your conventional doctor, they're going to put you on muscle relaxants like Flexeril, some benzodiazepine drug, which are highly, highly addictive. They'll put you on Xanax or even Ativan. They'll give you muscle, which they use as a muscle relaxant or Valium. You know, they so use, they're not good for you? No, they're not good for you. Well, you, get, you get addicted to them and they don't solve the problem. Then they put you on some kind of pain reliever. Oftentimes it's Flexeril. I'm sorry, oftentimes it's an opioid uh, the hydrocodone. hydrocodone. That's a bad one. Hydrocodone. We're all bad. Codeine 3. They put you on all these drugs. And those drugs will dull the pain, but they don't get rid of the problem. And people get hooked on those things. And guess what? That's what the pharmaceutical wants you to do, be hooked on it. I Big had, pharma. Yeah. My, I, my wife had problems way back 40 years ago. We were living in Austin. I had hugged her one time. I went into the kitchen. I remember giving her a hug, and I felt her back crack. It went like you'd expect to happen in a chiropractor's office. And she Did was you in charge her for it? <laughs> no, but she got she wanted to sue me for it because <laughs> she was in such terrible pain. So she went to a conventional doctor and they put her on muscle relaxants and pain relievers. It went on and on for two years. Finally at our church we had a friend of ours, Tom Frouse, who was a chiropractor. I said, Go see Tom and see if he can help you. She goes to Tom, she gets manipulated. She said when he adjusted my back it was like a bomb exploded and the pain went away. And she didn't have any pain since in, that? in that back. So that made me a believe in chiropractic services. So let me tell you the latest episode what Dr. Shepard did for me. I played golf approximately two weeks ago before this before I'm doing this video. Monday, in fact, it was 14, about 18, 19 days ago on a Monday. I play golf all the time. I've never had a problem with my back or neck playing golf. Play golf on Monday, played a great round. Fact, matter of fact, I shot one under par on the front now. It was one of the best scores I've ever posted. I won't tell you what I shot on the back, but I shot good on the front. <laughs> so anyway, Monday night I'm fine. Tuesday I'm fine at work. Tuesday night I laid down in bed. I got the most incredible pain on my lower uh, cervical spine radiating into the back of my trapezius muscle right to the shoulder. I thought I was going to die. I sat up in bed. I went, ah! Oh, my wife, I don't know how she didn't wake up, and I couldn't find a position. So I walk around the house, and I'm lugging my arm, trying to get a position. I find the position I can get in, and I carry it back to the bed and lay down. It lasts about an hour. It happened three or four times that night. I got up screaming. It was horrible. I went, oh, my goodness. You told me you prayed to God. I did. I literally, I literally prayed. I said, God, if you can't take the pain away, take me home. It was so bad. I thought to myself, 
I thought about Christ being crucified. I said, if that's a little pain I have in my shoulder, what might be how the crucifixion must have been horribly terrible. Anyway, strange thinking, morbid thoughts like that, but it was, I mean, that was the way I thought. It was so bad. And I've never had pain like that in my life. So anyway, it happened again on Wednesday night, Thursday, and I, and I, and I was going to play golf. And during the day, the pain went away, which is odd. It's only when I laid down. And I'd get up three or four times a night and writhing in pain. Friday, uh, that was two weeks ago today, I have, I'm supposed to be in another golf tournament. And I want to play in this tournament. And I told my friend Terry yesterday, Terry, I don't know if I can play. I got this terrible shoulder problem. So I go in. I go in. I call Doctor Shepard. I set up an appointment. I go in. He X-rays my neck. Now look at the X-ray. It's on the screen now. The cervical spine C5, C6, C6, C7. I've, you can see the osteophytes. You can see the degenerative changes. I have degenerative arthritis in my neck at C5, C6. The rest of it looks fine, which is really odd. Which may come from a turning when you play golf. Maybe after all these years of playing golf, that just wore down my neck there. So anyway, he saw that. He said, Doc, you've got degenerative arthritis in your neck. So he takes me in. He, manipul- he gives me a, has a massage done. And then he manipulates my neck. So I get up t- to leave. And I had one of the ladies bring me over there. And I get in the car. and said, well, I still got some neck pain. I don't know if I'll be able to play or not. Well, I went out. I didn't have any pain during golf. I was able to play. And I shot really good round of golf again. You're welcome. So, <laughs> And then Friday night, it hit me again. It was horrible. Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday, and I called up Dr. Shepard. I said, what else can I do? And he said, come in. We're going to decompress you. So you can see on, on, on your screen right now the decompressing unit that he put me on, which explain what that does, Doc. Well, a lot of people think traction or maybe an inversion table. I get that question all the time on how you know it may benefit people, and I explain it's not going to benefit them. We do spinal decompression, which is totally different than traction or an inversion table. <laughs> but what it does in essence, if you can picture your disc like a jelly donut, and that jelly donut will bulge out, and a lot of people have it. In the back, 80% of people sometime in their life will have a bulging disc. I have four in my back. I have three in my neck. But that machine, if you can, again, imagine that jelly donut, when it decompresses your spine, it'll suck in that bulging material. It'll also inhibit uh, any inflammation that may be going on, but it's going to stimulate your fibroblast, which is going to help build new tissue in there. Right. Um, it, is, it has an 86% success rate, which is higher than anything as far as disc problems in your neck or back. Well, I used this, so I went in, I used it last Wednesday... And then Thursday, uh, we rolled out our full-spectrum hemp oil. And Dr. De Silva was here, and you may have seen this online, or you will, talking about the hemp oil, which has cannabinoids in it. Some people know it as CBD oil. It's more than that. It's full-spectrum hemp oil with all the cannabinoids in it, without any THC. So on Thursday, I take this at night. And Thursday night, I still had severe problems. Wednesday night, marginally better, hurt Thursday night. Friday, I went back in and I had another decompression. And I used my hemp oil Friday morning, Friday evening before I went to bed. Friday night, no pain. How about that? No pain at all. Saturday, no pain. Sunday, no pain. I'm taking, I'm taking my hemp oil and I've been decompressed. I go back in and get decompressed on Monday again, continue to take my hemp oil, and it's Friday now. I haven't back, been back in for decompression, not because I shouldn't have been, but I've just been covered up with all this work this week and haven't been able to get back in. I've been using the hemp oil. So I called up Dr. Shepard. I said, Dr. Shepard, what is it? Is it the hemp oil or is it the decompression? I also called Dr. De Silva, who is the one that has designed the hemp oil. And both of them told me this. you got two problems. You've got a mechanical problem. Correct. I've got degenerative arthritis in my neck. And it's pressing down on that nerve. The decompression is handling the mechanical problem. Okay, that's key. It's taking the pressure off that. I've also got inflammation from the injury, you know, when I was twisting my neck. So the full spectrum hemp oil helps relieve inflammation. So, in combination with Dr. Shepard's adjustment of my neck, the massage that I had there and the decompression therapy I have from the machine, which you've seen on the screen, 
with the the hemp oil, my pain is gone, and I can't believe it. Both are miracles. So I want to con- I want to encourage you all. If you have back or if you have neck pain or problems, contact Dr. Shepard. Now, how can they set up an appointment to see you? And I want to encourage you. If you've got back pain, neck pain, call up Dr. Shepard to go in and see him and get that done, get an x-ray, and he'll take care of you. I promise you that. He's taking care of me and resolved numerous of our guests. We send them all to Dr. Shepard. So he's done a great job for us, and I believe in his services. I appreciate that, Dr. Hosey. Our clinic, we accept people same day. Right. We're on most insurance plans. We accept cash as well. Cash right. is king. But uh, we have great hours. We're open from 9 to 6.30, except for the weekend, of course. Right. But you can call 281-392-6550, and we'll be more than happy to help anybody out there in pain. Well, thank you so much, Doc. It's been my pleasure. It. And thank you for helping me. I am indebted to you and grateful to you so much. Thank each one of you for joining us today. This is Dr. Hotze. Remember, take charge of your health so that you have an enjoyable life and you have increased energy, vitality, and enthusiasm for life. God bless you now. A special thanks to Physicians Preference Pharmacy, formerly Hotze Pharmacy, proud sponsor of Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution podcast. Information provided on this radio program is neither intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice and is not intended to replace the services of a physician, nor does it constitute a doctor-patient relationship. You should not use information from this radio program to diagnose or treat a health problem or disease without consulting with a qualified health care provider. If you have or suspect you have an urgent medical problem, promptly contact a professional health care provider or call 911. Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution radio program advises you to always seek the advice of a physician or other qualified health provider prior to starting any new treatment or with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Any application of the recommendations from this radio program is at the listener's discretion.